Hey guys, what's going on? This is Pirate here, back for some more Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Wonderlock Challenge. Alright guys, after consideration, I'm actually going to turn the experience share on for a few battles just to get some of my lower level Pokemon up. So we'll go through this gym and hopefully we will see some changes. I'm going to make some uh, swaps in the team just because I think on a more permanent basis the swaps will benefit me a little bit more than... You know what I have right now. So what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to deposit... Who's it going to be? It's going to be Kecleon, sadly. Um, Kecleon, obviously a great Pokemon. Who's he going to be replaced by? Who's he going to be replaced by, guys? I think that's obvious. It's going to be the legendary Magikarp. You know, we got to give that Magikarp some love. we got to give that Magikarp some love. So, let me quickly go to my bag and turn the XP shirt on. There we go. And hopefully... If all goes according to plan, we should see our Magikarp evolve relatively soon. It is a traded Pokemon at level 10, so just needs 10 more levels, I think. Level 20 is the level uh, that Magikarp needs to get to. And of course, we'll see some HP on our newly acquired Pokemon, such as Buneary and Archon, which is going to be excellent because those guys have some really solid moves and evolutions that hopefully will strengthen our team a little bit. I'm going to be relying on Absolugia and Saurpatch for this gym, so I'll be sure to uh, fight all the trainers I can for the XP bonuses, and uh, hopefully we can get through this today. I think we also have a rival battle after this, so we'll get through that. Already well, fought him, I believe, right? I see. Hot baths are awesome, man. Nothing like a hot bath after a big, long gym workout, you know? And I've already fought him. You guys know what I mean, you know? Feels like you're melting when you're in your bath. I do prefer baths over, uh, over showers, to be honest. I know a lot of people are like, oh, you know, you're bathing in your own filth, blah, blah, blah. I don't care, dude. It's relaxing. I, I end up, you know, I'm still clean when I get out. A lot of people are like, oh, no, no. Look, I, I don't really care, you know. A bath is more relaxing to me. Put on a good audiobook. Just chill. I would love, like, speaking of baths, I would love to, uh, have a... What did I do that for? I meant to use Magnitude. That massive damage. Yeah, it still did actually quite a bit. Battle of the Fire-type Pokemon going head-to-head -head with their moves. <gasps> no! My own berry. But I would love to have, like, an ice bath in my house. I know that may sound weird, but I don't know. I, I love, like, going from polar opposites. You know, just jump in the ice bath, cold as hell. And then as soon as you get out, it's warm. Now we'll continue onwards. Buneary! Gotta get a bunch of levels here with Buneary. Which is good, because Buneary definitely needs those levels. I'm going to heal up that chip damage I took with some berries. Actually, no, I'm not. You know what, actually? If I got a berry that can cure a burn. Poison paralysis sleep. Burn. I don't think I do. Sleep paralysis poisoning, but I don't see any burn. So maybe if I take some more damage, I will, but... We have another trainer to battle over here, so... Let's get it going. Also, thank you to you guys for pointing out that uh, I did miss a capture encounter along the Jagged Pass as I was coming down from uh, Mount Chimney, so I'll be sure to get back there and obviously get that encounter after the gym. And uh, hopefully we can have a pretty decent uh, trade for that. I'm hoping I can kill this Meditate before it gets too serious, because obviously with that attack, uh, I think this is like a base 90 damage. This should be a KO, right? Close. Damn, I'm afraid it's going to kill me here. That, no, no, I don't think that would kill me, right? That shouldn't kill me. If it used, like, a a move such as, like, low kick or something, not even low kick, but, like, karate chop or brick brick, I'd be screwed. So I think it does warrant a uh, super potion after this battle. Bunny Ray has pretty good moves, so I will not switch just yet. Magikarp getting the levels. I am pretty strong. I 
I forgot I did buy that Moo Moo Milk. I have no, uh... I have no, uh, Super Potions, so... I guess I'll have to use that up, but... I should buy some Super Potions after this. Did I go the wrong way? I'm not too sure, but there is a Ninja there I might want to go and battle. Wrong way. Yeah, there's a Ninja there. You guys saw the bubbles rising above the water. How you could keep your cool in such warm water is beyond me, but, you know, he specializes in ninjutsu, so I wouldn't really rule it out. Shuji? Wasn't that the name of one of the Naruto characters? No, it was Shuji. It was the rather large one who then had those magic pellets and suddenly went, like, super beast mode on everyone. I think uh, the coughing may have levitated. I'm not too sure. I just somehow, somehow I think it does. Anyway, that should be enough to want to kill it anyway. So, look, you ain't gonna get a level sadly before we go into the next uh, gym. But Shuji has been defeated. Everyone's happy, and up we go, I guess, to fight uh, Flannery, the fire gym leader. Should be quite the fight. Oh, we have another trainer. Awesome, maybe we can get to level 30 before we take on Flannery. That would give us some much-needed additional stats. Again, we are fighting fire with fire this time, really. Also, a uh, cool fact, I guess. If you guys remember a couple episodes ago, I managed to get a shiny Pokemon in the Wonder Trade, and... Uh, the actual owner of that shiny contacted me on Twitter and said, yo, it was me who sent that out. So I think, you know, he didn't watch my videos before, but someone told him, hey, you're in this video. So, uh, pretty cool. The fact that someone has actually, you know, knew that. Is that going to kill? Yes, it is, thankfully. Almost. The next one should bring us up to level 30. And Cacleon... I'm gonna lava plume and change him to fire, and then I'll just magnitude to finish it, I guess. Slash probably won't do much. Hopefully. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. That was spooky. I don't think lava plume will kill here either. Maybe it will. Is it. No, it is not going to. Okay, this makes it a bit risky because. He is going to use slash again. Physical type move. Absol's defense sucks, but Sour Patch just sucks even more, so it's going to be if the Absol we'll switch into here. Stop. Hmm, what's my best bet here? It's probably to Zen Headbutt and then Mega Horn if I don't kill. Thankfully, I didn't stay in for the fire. There we go. Okay. My orange bear is going to give me some chip. Hopefully, this hits. Yeah, it does. Finishes the match up out there. And hopefully, uh, we do get enough experience here for Numa to get the level. PS70, I really do want to get rid of that, but... Oh, Flash is a TM, I forgot about that, wow. Awesome, level 30 in the Lugia as well. Veneer, you get name levels. Sick. Since when could Magikarp learn... Agility? Wait, 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 does he have more than four moves? I didn't think a Magikarp... Oh, no, it must be the Archon, right? No way, the Magikarp will learn. Yeah, it must be the Archon that wanted to learn something there. Because Magikarp really knows Flash, sadly. Okay, decent. We're going to need to heal up a little bit, though. Absol's a beast. Without further ado, I think this should be where we want to go, right? No, wow. I went the wrong way all along, damn it. We got another battle to take on here. 
Oh well. Another numel. Waka waka. Go for the magnitude. Magnitude seven. Paneri. You play with fire and you get burned. The dude's speaking some sense here, dudes. All right, let's see. Up I go. Well, here we are. There's Flannery there, finally. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Do you have any hold items, actually? Don't think so. Guess I might as well give it that. I don't know why I would get paralyzed, but maybe I would. Here we go, though. Flannery, Fire Gym Leader. Let's see if we can take her down with relative ease here. Would be nice. Would be very nice. Welcome! I'm Flannery, the Red Hot Chimp. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be badass here, isn't she? Okay. Bring it on, Flannery. Oh, yeah. I think she has a camera up, right? Someone told me she does. If my memory is correct, we have three, four, five Pokemon. That's Slugma. What level is it? We have three. 26. We should have the advantage here. I'm going to go for the Magnitude. Earth Power probably maybe would have been the better move there, actually. Because we did get a relatively low Magnitude. Ain't going to do too much. Light Screen's going to... Okay. As long as it doesn't reflect... What was that, Magnitude 9 or Magnitude 4? It must be Magnitude 9, but there you go, Slug was down relatively easily. Magikarp. Numel again, okay, no worries. Level 26 should be relatively easy, you should get the speed boost. Now the question is here, Earth Power is a base 90 special, and then we have a 50% chance to get base 90 and above with Magnitude. Now it really goes to say who is better, special or, or what is better, special or physical, in regards to Numel. And as you can see, Numel's special attack actually is better there, so we honestly should just go for the Earth Power here for the kill. And Earth Power's accuracy is 90, or it's 100, so we should be guaranteed a hit here with the Earth Power, and it should kill. Don't know why I haven't been using that more all along, but it does give me a 1 of KO on the Numel. Not bad. Sour Patch getting those levels in as well. Baneer getting those levels in as well. Torco. Torf. Tough, 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 tough. So Torco level 28. Again, we do have the level advantage on him here. Torco is, I believe, also ground and fight or ground and fire, right? And that seems to be just pure ground or fire. So a ground attack really should do some decent damage here. BS90 ground attack with the stab. And X2, gonna do the Sunny Day, which honestly only benefits me as well as him. You know, if anything, Sunny Day makes it a bit easier for us. Expecting a Restore here, to be honest. No, no Restore, it's just gonna go down like that. And that's the way it is. Ooh. Sweet, pretty easy battle there. Lugia does get to level up. 31. Uh, yeah, might as well get rid of Amber because we really don't use it. Paneri! Wow. Tackle. So good. And I get... So the flame badge, the fire badge, the magma badge, the flare of badge. The heat, okay, all of them were wrong. <laughs> nice. 
Overheat, nice that'll go well on Numel, although I don't know what will do more damage. Lava Plume or Numel. I know Overheat all yeah, Overheat also costs my special attack. That was pretty fun. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I think it was right for me to get down easily. Can I go back up? So, uh gotta go to Jagged Pass and get that capture. But I think I have a rebel battle outside. Do do? Right. I might just have a rebel battle, I'm not sure. There's me. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Oh yeah, now we can go through the desert. Uh, no thanks. So we need to go back to Laverage first to actually get met. Can I go up the Jagged Pass here? Is this Jagged Pass? It is. Is there any area I can catch Pokemon in here? Well, I gotta fight her first. I don't think there is, actually. I need to go back up to the top of my chimney. I'll, I'll, I'll do two Wonder Trades today, guys, and then, you know, we'll go from there. Got a Gloom, which is gonna get burnt easily here. No more limo. Doesn't matter, we're a couple levels off evolving in the camera up, so I, I'd rather just take these chances while I can. Yay! 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 Now we can just burn it. It is- no, I don't think Swabbly is Dragon-type just yet, so it should be able to get burned. Oh wow, just alarming voice. Massive damage all around. Not bad. No, I can't actually get it back up, which kind of sucks. But, uh, let's see. Golden Nugget! This is okay, this is perfect, actually. I just got away there as well. Because now I can go into the Sandstorm and catch a Pokemon. Probably gonna put uh, Sour Patch up top still, just because I feel safer. Sour Patch there, and then I'm gonna go in here and get a quick encounter. Going circles. Can I even catch Pokemon here? Stardust, yay! I can get a trap bench if I want, but our encounter for this area, let's check it out. It is a uh, Baltoy. Interesting. Really weird Pokemon, in my opinion. You know, we got Baltoy, level 21. Hopefully, I don't kill him with a disalarming voice. I have a stomp, actually. Baltoy is. Psychic, I think. One of those weird ass Pokemon. Yeah, it's psychic and grind, so it's. Uh, frick. Bite's gonna do double effect, stomp. I'm probably gonna kill it if I try and hit it with anything, so. I'm gonna just hope for the best here and throw my Ultra Ball out. I know I'm chancing it a bit doing this, but. Got pretty lucky there, wow. Awesome, so I'm going to head up to Jagged Pass and get another capture, and then we can actually uh, go on the Wonder Trade and do double back-to-back -back Wonder Trades to see who we get. Okay, sweet. There we go. Oh, smokes, I did not even think of that. Didn't think this guy actually had a... Pokemon in his pocket, but apparently he did. Probably a stomp will kill, right?
Too weak defense. Too weak defensively to actually survive that. I'm gonna get a level off it, so it ain't all bad. Okay, straight up the jagged pass. And we'll get those trees underway. Don't forget, we have to go back to Leverage Town to actually trigger the cutscene with May in order to progress, so. I wish there was a way I could skip this cutscene. No way to skip, sadly. Hmm. Here we go. Ah, oh, there's Pokemon there. Okay, we can do it here. Pop, 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 pop. We get a new mall again. Wow, so many new guys. I'm gonna chance my luck and I'm gonna lob an Ultra Ball at it. If not, I'll send out like Archin or something to kill it. Again, lucky first try. Hmm. Okay. Let's actually just make our way through here, and then we'll do the the trees when we're back in the town. Really not fight anyone up on my way down here. Man, I almost got caught. Not been. There we go. We made it through. Cool, so we can go over here and start our wonder trade. It takes a while to connect to the internet, so what am I going to do? No clue. Apex is on today. Well, it should be over why by the time this video was up, but yeah, I was watching some of the Pokemon Double Championships. Quite advanced tactics, you know? So Some of those high-level players really have a, a brains for putting a team together and just making it go so in sync. Kind of wish I had that level of Pokemon skill, but I assume those guys have just thrown thousands of hours at that game and really impressive skills. So, uh, does anybody know, like, why is it that doubles are preferred over singles when it comes to competitively battling Pokemon? Like, why isn't there more singles? Is doubles more skill? I don't know, let's, oh crap, almost traded away my Cackley on there. We have the Numel, and we also have, what else did we catch? We caught a Numel, and we caught a Baltoy. Baltoy's there, so let's trade that off first. Imagine if I traded that Cackley on away. Damn, probably would just have to substitute it with another type. But, uh, first off, Baltoy. And the partner that we're going to get for this uh, area is... Hopefully going to show any second now, maybe. Searching. Still going. We got Lily from uh, Loot New York who says, Leave a nice heart. Thanks. What does that mean? I'm not sure. Send over Baltoy. In return, we get a Puchiana, which I think we have to trade back because it's a duplicate. Yeah, I think it is a duplicate Med Mediana. Damn. That is a duplicate, so level nine, it's French. It has Ace Fang, I guess, you know. That makes it a bit cooler, but we already got one of those guys in our party, so it's going straight back on the Wonder Trade. I have like very low battery, so I'm not sure. Come on! 
We got Tej from the United States Georgia. Oh, I didn't even see what we got there. What was it? So I was looking away. Oh, Grammar! Interesting. Interesting. Grammar isn't really that bad of a Pokemon. A lot of people actually like. My well, Mock's pretty cool. It's just really defensive, isn't it? Sweet. Let's go back online and do another. That Grammar has Harden. Mud Slab, Disable, and Sludge. I guess it has Sticky Hold, which is pretty cool. But let's trade away that uh, normal and see what we get. Hoping for a good one. I mean, we haven't really got an extraordinary trade yet, bar that Shiny that we got. But that was kind of a hacked Shiny, so I don't really count it. Our next partner, however, is. Do, 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 do. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Gabacho from uh, California, who is going to treat us. Well, we're sending away Numel. Goodbye, Numel. I know that is not Lugia, guys. That is another Numel we caught. And in return, we get a Volbeat. I, we already actually have one of those. We have Lady Shane, who is our Shiny Volbeat. So, that is also a duplicate, thankfully. Not really too impressed with that guy, anyway, so. gonna have one more so many repeat trades today so see we have our light of chain which is level 100 volbeat so trading this one off duplicate claws guys duplicate claws looking for our partner here any second now And our partner is... Well, it's taking quite a bit. Nick from uh, United States, Nevada. So let's see if Nick wants to be our best buddy today and send us some pretty good stuff. So off the goes, Volbeat. Sorry, Nick, I really feel bad for giving us such crappy Pokemon. And in return we get an Abra. Oh, what a jerk. You should have treated over an Alakazam. Or a Kadabra, at the very least, you know. No oh, Womps. Well, well, I think it's just a level 5 Abra. I don't know. Let's go and check the Pokemon Center. Yeah, level 1 Abra. Pretty, pretty sad. Pretty sad, it's only level 1 man, he must have been breeding for shinies or something and decided to put it out there, but it does have a uh, magic guard, which is a hidden ability, which is kind of cool, and it means that uh, it, it actually prevents damage from uh, weather conditions and poison and curse and leech seed, so it's pretty cool, but I mean I'm probably not going to use it just because I can't trade it off, so I'm going to end this one here guys, hopefully you enjoyed it, and I shall catch you next time, this is Pyro, signing out, have a very nice day, and I shall catch you guys later for some more Pokemon's Alpha Sapphire, bye bye.